it has been a long time no speak and a lot of things have happened in the last six months mainly the fact that i is now pregnant we have got a little baby brown due in march 2021 so i'm officially six months pregnant about 27 weeks i believe um and yeah it is one of well, one of many reasons of why I fell off the face of the earth um, in terms of YouTube. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will already know this because I announced it not so long ago on Instagram, etc. So if you want to keep more up to date, follow me over there. Um, but basically, today I just wanted to share with you all the clips that I've kind of compiled through my pregnancy of me finding out, me telling Philip, um me telling my parents and me um tell my parents whether we're having a prince or a princess yeah so i'm going to share all those clips with you and basically it's just so that i can document this special little time um for myself and for my family which is so 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 cute i was watching back some of the clips the other day and it's really nice to see their reactions and things so a quick kind of overview before i start showing you all the clips is that i actually got pregnant twice in a space of two months um i got pregnant the first time in june and miscarried within a week um which was sad but we got over it um and then thankfully we got pregnant again the following month um which is stuck and which is currently a little baby um so what i'll probably do is i will show you the reaction of when i found out the first time and when i found out the second time because obviously the second time was clouded a little bit by the i hope this sticks um a little bit so i'll show you both of those i will then show you um me telling my parents uh philip's parents and my nana and granddad um obviously this all happened during varying stages of lockdown and varying stages of you're allowed in other people's homes you're not allowed in other people's homes etc etc so you will see varying types of clips of how i've told people um obviously all within regulations at that point in time whenever that may have been um so yeah and then the other thing that i just wanted to touch on which i did ramble on about in my one of my clips but i'll cut it out because i ramble for a very long time is that um my cycle was very irregular from around june not june september 19 to around april 20 and i know for a fact that that was due to stress probably a little bit of weight but mainly stress and probably lockdown probably did me the world of good in getting me back on track um but that is one of the reasons i'm so upset the first time that i found out because you know you're the first thing your brain goes to particularly at that time when it's never happened to you before is this is never gonna never gonna work and it did and i'm very very thankful for that so i just wanted to kind of put that out there if any of you are struggling we see go and see your doctor etc um there are things out there that can help you if you need it um so yeah less of me rambling and i will show you all of the lovely clips i'll put little headers in so you can follow along what is happening but yeah welcome to my little baby journey good morning it is what time is it it is wednesday the 10th and it is 7.30 a.m. and I am going to do a So the test kit that I got has three tests in it. It's got two of the kind of traditional line tests and one digital test. So I'll do the line test first. Yeah, let's see what happens. Put that one 
who went hidden by my knee so I can't see it. It's going to be negative, like, honestly, because I filmed it, it's going to be negative. So we either get a line in the window or we don't get a line in the window. And then there's a control window. I should have just dipped them at the same time because regardless of what I was going to say, I was going to do the other one, wasn't I? Let's be honest. I ideally want to keep the digital one for if I get kind of positive on one of the like analog tests. There we go. Oh, I turned it over anyway. <coughs> That's a proper blue line. Right. That's that that's a proper blue line. That is definitely good. show you this but you probably can't see it because I know there's lots of people show these tests but you can't really see the lines on them so have a look possibly there you can see it there the line going down in that first box very very faintly depends on the lighting there you can see it there one over because it's less judgment to see the pregnant or not pregnant. You can guess the result. That officially says pregnant. Well, there's a start to your Wednesday morning, isn't it? Um, yeah. I am so happy. Mainly because, as I said, my cycle has been all over the place for the last like six months, and it only really regulated itself last month. Um, well, really this month. Let's be honest; it was only really this month. I will do a whole video about it. Um, so I genuinely thought, like, it really scared me when it went a bit haywire, and thought there's a chance I might never get pregnant. <laughs> did it, we did it. I can't do it on my own, can I? Right. Well, I need to go to work in 45 minutes. Yeah. I put the box up to all my round. So you can't 
read it. Is that why you had to go to the shop? Yeah. <laughs> I was. Why don't you look? No, I must have lost it because it's dry. Because, yeah. Oh, what are we going to do now? Oh dear. What do you mean, oh dear? <laughs> All broken. Oh. What do we do now then? I don't know. <laughs> Watch a YouTube video and learn. <laughs> and ask Erica. You need a tutorial. Yeah. Good morning. Today we are doing this. Um, before we do, well, actually, what I'll do is. This is a pack of three clear blue, clear blue tests and what I'll do is it's got two like analogue tests and one digital so I will dip the analogue one not sure I know which one's which but, um, and also one of the strip tests first and if they come back positive we will dip the digital one so yeah these little strip tests are i love them actually they came in a pack with um yeah they came in a pack with loads of ovulation tests and those i think they came with 50 ovulation 20 pregnancy tests so it's a really good pack from amazon i'll link it um, I just need to check what on earth we're doing here. I would be over the moon if we actually managed to get pregnant the second month of try-in after essentially being successful the first month as well. Um, but obviously I've been very more, like a lot more cautious, particularly trying not to test early because they say that particularly in chemical pregnancies most people don't even know that they've had a miscarriage because they don't. They haven't tested that early um i will say that this time last time i was getting spotting the day before i tested i think um and then literally the day after i tested it started spotting and then a couple of days later it started for real spotting can be a sign of pregnancy pregnancy symptom so i didn't think anything of it um yeah so that's what happened last month um, it wasn't fun obviously um, this month like I said my period's meant to start today it's essentially I think it's like 14 DPO it's like two weeks hopefully this means that it if it is it will stay I don't know so that's the timer let's do the strip test first <laughs> So yeah, the strip test got a little line on it as it has done previously. I will like can zoom in and show you on these. But I'm gonna show you. So yeah, as you can see there, there's a teeny tiny little line just here. But as I say for some reason I just don't like that doesn't get me excited. Okay. Now I'll start with this one. <laughs> still very very scared that's more positive oh, that sounds ridiculous that is darker than the last one I believe I do have the last one here um, I think because I haven't brought myself to touch it and throw it out since yeah so that one was a lot fainter one from a few well literally a month ago <laughs> is really positive. Sorry, but I'll show you this. Ooh. That's the test. <laughs> um I'm gonna dip the digital just 
don't believe it unless it literally tells me. You know what's really crazy? I can't get into this. Like, my thoughts are all over the place this morning, if you cannot tell. I'm kind of... I'm excited, but I'm not excited because I don't want to get my hopes up again. But similarly, there's no reason to say that what happened last month is going to happen this month. Yeah, I'm going to put it in this. So, hopefully... This is the start of our little journey as a little family. I don't even know what was left. <laughs> 30 seconds until you can turn this thing over. That's not even like a let's, let's squint and look at it. That's really dark. Like, I'm very much a person that won't allow myself to get excited particularly if I've been disappointed in the past um I can like compartmentalize if that's the word things quite well so allowing myself to get excited is a bit scary um yeah I yeah I do feel a little bit more excited <laughs> the longer this goes on stop so let's do this one Three, two, one. <laughs> that doesn't look on my face. You don't want to see my face. This is what we want to see. about these digital tests but they just make it feel so 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 much real it's literally because it is there in black and white it's there in black and white um, and i also never ever in my million years thought i'd be able to get pregnant back to back with a miscarriage essentially What about me? What about me? What's this again? Magic! Apparently you were good at it! <laughs> that was only like a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> Look! Mm. We did it again! Boom! <laughs> you better get these back out. <laughs> <laughs> No, this sounds like. Oh. Any 
tests or anything yet? Um, what have I done? I've had blood twice, which was not fun. Yeah, um, you get a lot of blood taken when you. Yeah, and I'm like Granddad; it doesn't like to come out. <laughs> um, I had my scan on Monday, and they did some kind of early screening tests for like Down syndrome and stuff. Yeah. That tells you whether you're high or low risk, and I got the letter yesterday saying we're low risk. Yeah. So that's it. Very good. Just, you just both need to stand there all day, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh, I have to get my knitting needles out again. <laughs> <laughs> you kept sending me pictures of stuff forever because I was oh dear. <laughs> oh, fab. <laughs> Oh, another wedding invitation, is it? I don't know. I'll tell you in a minute. Baby Brown comes. Ah, yes. I look forward to that. that one. What the? What I think, yeah. it's what I think it might be. Oh, stop it. oh lovely. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I put a lot in. <laughs> enjoyed all of those little clips they really 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 make me smile watching them back and yes we are having a little baby princess which I am so excited for I'm a little bit good that we didn't get my reaction when I found out but we were obviously in well we actually had a private scan to find out because Phil couldn't go to the NHS one um but yeah that was brilliant i was so 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 excited and so excited to tell mum and dad as well so yeah i will keep you all posted on what is happening this will not turn into a pregnancy channel it will be very much about disney however i will keep you posted on what's happening things that are going on etc etc and share anything that i think is relevant that you might be interested in but i just want to kind of update you before we got into weekly vlogs and I'm talking about being pregnant and all that malarkey and you have no idea what is going on so I'll see you all very soon thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you later bye take my hand we'll make it somehow we can't miss out